In the last section, we talked about the nucleus and how it wants to become stable. It becomes stable by emitting radioactive particles or radiation. All right, let's talk about the different types of radiation now. All right, the first uh, type that I want to kind of give you, let's look at a brief overview. We have three types of radiation that we're going to talk about in this chapter. There are, there are a couple more that we could consider. Just as far as an overview, we're going to talk about these three. Alpha radiation, beta radiation, and gamma radiation, sometimes referred to as gamma rays. Now, uh, I have this little diagram down here, and we have the types of radiation, alpha, beta, gamma, and um, neutrons. The different types of radiation can be stopped by various um, types of materials. For example, alpha radiation can be stopped simply by your hand or even something as simple as a sheet of paper. Beta radiation will actually go through your hand, so it takes something a little more, uh, a little more um, tough, if you will, to, to block those beta uh, rays. Uh, gamma radiation or X-rays, um, sometimes you can see that used synonymously, gamma rays are uh, a type of X-rays, have to be stopped by um, a lead. Um, you may remember if you've ever had an X-ray or if you've ever been to the dentist um, and they've taken X-rays, they'll put that big heavy vest on you. and That's actually a lead vest and that's trying to protect the rest of your body from absor absorbing that gamma radiation. Now, neutrons, like in, a, for example, a neutron bomb, takes a little bit more uh, than just a simple lead vest. It actually takes a fairly thick wall of concrete to stop um, uh, neutrons. All right, so let's let's go and look at the three main types that I want to talk about. Let's first talk about the alpha particles. Okay, remember you should remember from chapter three that Ernest Rutherford used alpha particles to test uh, J.J. Thompson's plum pudding model. Um, and he actually ended up discovering the nu nucleus and the part proton as a result of his experiment. But alpha radiation emits alpha particles. And an alpha particle is made up of two protons and two neutrons, often called a helium nucleus. Okay, this is typically how we write an alpha particle. We have uh, the mass number of four, meaning we have two protons and two neutrons. Our atomic number is two. And it's charged up here, meaning that we do not have electrons present. Okay? Up until now, we have talked about um, having equal numbers of protons and electrons. Now, we're going to start to see that those numbers are not quite as they first appeared in Chapter 3. We're going to start changing those numbers now. All right, so the helium nucleus is typically referred to as alpha radiation. Now, an alpha radiation nuclear equation, for example, radium-226 is not, is not a stable isotope of radium. It is radioactive. It wants to become stable. In order to become stable, it has to get rid of two protons and two neutrons. Okay, it does that by emitting an alpha particle. Now it still keeps its um, electrons. So electrons do not change. But notice that our mass numbers are equal. 222 plus 4 is equal to 226. 86 plus 2 is equal to 88. Now notice that radium has become a completely new element because anytime we change the protons in a nucleus it's called transmutation. Okay, That becomes a completely new um, substance. But notice how these numbers are balanced on both sides. Beta radiation is the second type of radiation I'll talk about. It consists of fast moving electrons called beta particles. Okay, Electrons have a negative one charge Okay, so they are negatively charged. Let's look at beta radiation nuclear equation. We have the decomposition of carbon-14. Carbon-14 is an unstable isotope. It wants to become stable, so it gives up um, a proton in the form of a beta particle. Okay, to become nitrogen-14, I'm sorry, it gains an electron, gains a proton in order to become a stable isotope of nitrogen. Okay, that comes from this way, from this, this beta radiation emission, this beta particle. Notice that these mass numbers are equal on either side of the reaction. You should remember from physical science or an earlier science or even biology that this uh, arrow could be considered an equal sign. Now, 14 and 14, okay, 7 plus negative 1 equals 6. Notice how that balances. The third and final type of radiation that I want to talk about in this chapter are gamma rays. Gamma rays are very high energy radiation that's, that typically has no mass, 
no charge, and they're typically associated with a helium nucleus and a um, beta particle. They are just a high energy form of radiation. They account for the energy that is lost during radioactive decay. Now let's look at um, where you would see a gamma particle. You're going to see it associated with a helium nucleus, and it'll just be uh, denoting the energy that is present. Um, gamma radiation is typically what's used in x-rays. We send that high energy to the back of a film, and voila, we can see the insides of you, your bones, and all such as that.